Hey guys, we're going to here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the UMRV map. And I realized something. So, when I got out of my tractor, I was just wandering around and I decided to read the owned by, so who owned this field. And apparently, Cole the Cornstar owns this field, so that's pretty neat. I don't know if you guys know him. He's a good YouTuber. He does real life farming, stuff like that, with his family and whatnot, his dad and his brother. So, Anyway, I thought I'd throw that in there. So, we got, we went ahead and plowed up everything that needed plowed on there. So, we're going to actually take this back to our yard. We're going to choose a farm, pick a farm. I don't know where we're going to put it, but we'll probably just throw it somewhere and see where it ends up. We might put it right there since we're doing, like, custom stuff. I don't know. Well, we might buy this chunk I think that's what we'll do we'll buy this chunk right here and then there's like fields right there where you can park your equipment and stuff and it's right next to the shop so all I have to do is just drive my stuff right over there and I can park it and then I can haul people's equipment and kind of manage the shop down there that way when people buy things I can kind of figure out and see who buys stuff especially since I think I'm mainly not really gonna have my own stuff to farm like not a lot of my own but if a lot of people get on, I'm gonna have I'm gonna do a lot of other everybody else's stuff. Cause if they don't get on or can't get on, cause a lot of times that's what happens. A lot of people just sometimes they just don't play, or sometimes they play and they can't get on. So we might help them with that stuff too. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You never know. Could happen. Could not happen. You just you just gotta see. But as of right now. There's really not a lot of people playing, and it's kind of my own fault because I kind of am coming back in a. I am like. I was gone forever, and then now when you come back, when you're gone forever, not a lot of people are like active, sort of speak, and all that. So hopefully, we'll get enough people for the tournament in by June 1st. I think I said May 1st in the last video, or a couple of videos ago. Yeah, I meant June 1st, because that's a whole year from now. Um, yeah, I thought it was only May. Yeah. Yep. And today, I believe, today, let's see, today, no, today's... The making of this video is not a school day. It's a Sunday, so... Yeah. So that's why... I'm confused. I was thinking today we got out of school because I think the 18th we actually got out of school before all this COVID crap hit. I don't mind it. I kind of actually liked being out of school for spring. It was kind of nice. I really liked it. You know, you get out of school and basically I got to do a lot of stuff, all sorts of stuff this year. So I liked farm. I, I don't know. I always said that I was always going to do YouTube on farming do some of the bigger guys but if you look at everybody else they really don't have that much like people on there so I don't know I'm kind of deciding what I should do if I should just do it and see what happens or what my pickup's still sitting there from when we pulled the disc over but anyway we're gonna go to the farm we're gonna get the power washer we're gonna get a power washer placed down get this tractor cleaned up and get it ready to be put away so I'm not really sure where the strip of my ground is necessarily. Looks like it's up here past this field. Which part? So it's like, looks like to me from that driveway across up to here. So we'll go up here, park it. We're probably just going to pull it off and park it. We'll probably kind of build a farm up right there. Just mainly sheds probably on one side and sheds on the other side. I don't really know what to do with it because I don't think you, they have landscape tool enabled for anything this driveway is going to be a pain but it's okay it's all right we'll just twist we'll just twist our axles twist the frames twist everything break it all why not because for some reason you can't oh now you can I wonder why I couldn't do it before I guess you can now but I kind of like those narrow driveways Especially, I don't know, I like road ditches on maps. Like, if you ever create a map, if anybody ever creates me a map, like a dream map, yeah, 
put ditches in. Not like super steep ditches, like like the ones on the Alberta map that one year, but like decent size like that. Just a little little dip, a little dip up there, smooth it up. Put in a decent sized driveway. You could go a little wider on this. You could go to the edge of this, maybe expand it a little bit. If you just put the dirt over it, it'll be alright. That's what I like. I don't know, I just like to play around with stuff and whatnot, but yeah, so when some more people start joining and I kind of get bored, I will go ahead and start to like build stuff and actually do stuff because I'm not really sure that too many people are going to join. Like I said, there's a few, like I'm trying to get people to get on here, but it's hard. It's hard to get a lot of people on. And a, a lot of people don't play a whole lot, usually. I'm not sure where everybody is, but I guess when you kind of disappear for a long time, it's kind of how it is, because everybody goes and finds somebody else to hang out with and talk to and whatnot. So, it'll just take some time to get everybody back in the groove, and then, yeah, and then I'll hit wheat harvest in about another month. We're a month away from wheat harvest, so, well, getting ready for wheat harvest, I should say, because really we're not... We're not really going to cut wheat till probably 1st of July, maybe. I don't know. I should do some stuff on the farm. I really should, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys would like it or what. I'm sure you guys, some of you would enjoy it. Others, probably not. But we're going to see how the big bud loads up. Looks like it loads up all right. We're going to have to do that tow thing again, aren't we? We'll see how the bud tows. So we're actually going to do a custom mission, uh oh, yikes, we might have to drive the bud everywhere, put it on the back, we'll put it right there, Let's see how that does, better or worse, I think worse, not sure what it is, that's weird, fire that up, back up, drop it off, We'll see, I don't think it'll hook up. At least I'm pretty sure we checked in the last couple of videos. I think if we just pull it forward, it might work. We just gotta get the tractor to have weight on the front, I think. I don't know. I'm probably making you guys dizzy jumping in and out. There we go. Why did it drive up on there now? See, everything's just a little short. I don't know why, it's always just a titch short. Anyway, we're going to try and get this loaded up on here. And see, I don't have any lift anything, so... We'll unfold it, see what that does. Alright, so I got it on, but I drove too far with it. Need to just back up just a little bit. Because the front of this doesn't have a collision, so the tractor just fell off. That's always fun. Okay, so I'm looking on the map, and I think we're going to go to 24 and go do that. And see how the old bud pulls the... I don't know what you call that. But we're just going to call it a field conditioner. Because that's kind of what it looks like. I don't know what you actually call it. It's like a random thing. I really should get this vehicle camera control in here. I need to write that down so I remember it. Write a... Write a little note on my hand, put it on a sticky note or something. Alright, so here comes that big hill that we have to pull to get up on the field side. And it's actually pulling pretty good. Last time I traveled it with the other tractor and disc, which should be heavier technically. But if this big bud's heavier, it's probably what it is. Because that 89 is probably not that heavy, but the disc is probably a little heavier. Field conditioner is probably a little lighter. So the big bud's probably heavier. And I was going 25 over there, now I'm going 16. So technically, it might be faster to drive it. But I think once I get to the top of the hill, it'll speed up. Go about 20, 30 again, like I was in town. And what I'm thinking about doing on this trailer, let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Kind of jumbled my words there. But I'm thinking about extending the... Uh oh, it slid back. I'm thinking about extending the trailer, just stretching it out a little bit, 
and stretching it length and then stretching it width just a little so that it, stuff fits on it better I mean so far stuff fits on it pretty good that's why I like it that's why I like to run it but we should have probably brought a low boy for this one I'm trying to get all the tractors and implements and stuff so that I can run it just off there run it just run this flatbed because I really like this flatbed because it's tall so you can get like if you need to drive across the ditch which you guys know me by now so you guys know that I like to drive through just random hills and crap with flatbeds and that's usually why I don't use flatbeds because you can't do that because you always get stuck and this one you don't really get stuck that often especially like on yikes it's kind of tall anyway you don't really get stuck that often with this trailer because it's just taller you can drag it around it more and stuff like that so alright so we're almost to the driveway it's kinda of fell off on that last turn there see this is a nice big driveway you can get the semis in and stuff like that that's what I like doing I like trucking with these trucks and stuff but usually I'm in the combine usually I'm running the combine or the grain cart or Usually I don't get to truck much, or usually when I do get to truck, the server starts lagging and I can't run the truck, so we'll see how it goes on this Let's Play, but so far so good. So we'll see how this pulls it. Well, I'm supposed to pull it pretty quick. Like I said in the last video, I'm buying things that are already turned up speed-wise. Basically I took this and turned it from like 12 mile an hour to like I think I put it on 14 mile an hour. 9. Why does it say 9? 10. It probably just takes a while for this thing to pull up to speed. Because it's so big. It's 60 foot of cultivator. That's a pretty good size cultivator. So I must turn it up to 15 then. 16? No. Anyway. We'll set our AB along this pass. It's a good old waterway right there for you. Whoa, drives a little goosey. But it lowers. That's the downside about some of this stuff. It doesn't lower very fast. Which I'd like to fix it so that when you hit V, it basically instantly goes in the ground because it's really nice. I know it's not. That's not realistic. But it does take forever it seems to get into the ground, which sucks. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and cultivate this field get it knocked out it's a pretty big field it's pretty cheap and then we're gonna do the rest of these possibly obviously not that one we'll do this one and this one we'll do those we might do the bailing one we will see when the time comes tomorrow if there is no new mods we will or no new missions what I meant to say we'll go on and do the bailing one if everything's running right we'll probably do the bailing one by the own buy our own equipment and run the baler and stuff like that because there are some cool stuff with that as well because we do have a new crone windrower that I don't think you guys have seen yet you might have seen it in the mowers episode or swather episode as I did on my mods but anyway hope you guys did enjoy we're gonna get this field cultivated and the rest of the missions done probably and we will see you all in the next one